Hello, hello. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, we can hear you. Excellent. Okay, no sé por qué no se ve mi cámara. Wait a minute. Okay. Dame un segundito, you guys. But how are you doing today? Good? Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine? Mm -hmm. It seems like it's Monday because not none of, like, not many people are here in the class. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Tuesday, like Friday. <laughs> and it's better. Okay, so uh, welcome, guys. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being here. So punctual. I know I'm always five minutes earlier, but today I had like a little bit of an issue, but I'm here right now. So remember, the first thing we're gonna do is go with the attendance. So please, cameras on. Full names as you have them in the Dewey. And full names, please. Diana, your name is not your full name there, so I will need your full name there. Okay, okay. And recuerden siempre, girls, um, antes de entrar a la clase, poner el nombre completo porque si no cambia cuando está aquí. Miren, esto me pasa siempre. Cuando la cámara, verdad que me veo como bien opaca porque tengo la compu sin cargarla. Miren cómo va a cambiar la imagen. ¿Verdad que cambia? ¿No? ¿No cambia? Yo sí siento que cambia un montón. Tal vez es mi imagen de ustedes la que cambia. Yeah, maybe it's me. Ok. Um, let's see. Vamos a ver aquí. Today is June, guys. It's June. And, right, like, yesterday was May. Now we're in June. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's not... This year, it's a little bit faster than last year. <laughs> yeah, it is right. Like, yes. I felt like last year lasted forever. Like last year was never going to end. Like it's 2020, 2020, 2020. So it was like a long year, right? Maybe with the pandemic and, and all this stuff, right? But now this year, it's like, it was January and now it's June. Así, estamos en mitad de años and just like on a blink. So yeah, I'm like, me impresiona. Okay, let's go with attendance. Ana, Valencia, Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Usted me escribió, ¿verdad, Ana? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carcamo Argueta, no. Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here, teacher. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Floridalma Ramírez Calderón. Teacher, I'm here, but I'm, I am driving to my house. Okay, okay. Just let me know when you get home, okay? Okay, thank you. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. I'm here. Okay. Juan Jose Avalos Campos. I'm here. Katia Margarita Herrero Perez. I'm here, teacher, but I'm driving. Okay, just let me know what you go home to. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno González. Demándelos, Miguel. Miguel. Demándelos del internet. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. Yes. I'm here. Okay. Ruth Saray Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Excellent. Ruth Noemi Sánchez Pérez. Nah. Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Me, me parecía que yo tenía miopía o algo así cuando la estaba viendo usted. Like, oh. Sorry. Right? Some troubles with my camera. I was like, what's happening? Right? <laughs> William Antonio Morales Mancilla. William estaba conectándose a todas las clases. I don't know what happened. 
well. Uh, Jessica Yanari Cortes Díez. I'm here. Josué Efraín Cáceres Escalante. No, Silvia María Rivera Rivas. No. Okay, there we are. Excellent. So, ¿qué pasa hoy? Que la, Zuleima, otra vez la cámara. What happened? Oh, my God. Okay. So, I'm going uh, to fix that. Just give me one moment. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. Guys, what happened today? Like, all of my students, they want to have the camera off. I know Kathy is driving. Flor is driving. Anna is working. But what about Diana? What about Jennifer? Rolando, did you text me? I think Rolando sent me a text message. Maybe there's the problem or the issue. Did he send me? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you, Rolando. I saw your message. Okay, very good, you guys. Um, tell, turn your cameras if you can, because I feel alone today. I feel it's it's weird when I don't see all my students. It's like weird Diana there we go Diana thank you thank you very much okay so it's like weird when I don't see you okay excellent thank you guys for turning on your cameras and the ones that turned them on okay we didn't finish yesterday because we were running out of time but we're gonna finish right now we have something here about the Present progressive, right? That was the last topic we were talking about yesterday. Present progressive. And remind me again, you guys, when do we use the present progressive? ING. What is it? ING, yes, I -N -G. this is ING. But when or why do we use it? When you In are the future. Doing for future, yes, and for? The present. The present, like something you're doing right now, in this moment, ahorita, utualito, right? So that's when we use the present progressive. So for example, <coughs> I'm speaking English right now. You are listening to me. Diana is coughing, right? So that's the present progressive. But we can talk about the future as well. For example, um, you are going to break up rooms later, right? You're going to the break up rooms later. Uh, we're finishing the class at 10 p.m. We're finishing the class at 10. Siempre se pasa unos dos minutos la teacher. Ya me han reclamado por eso antes, pero les recuerdo, les ayudan los minutos a ustedes. So it's like we're finishing the class at 10 p.m. We're finishing. No significa que estamos terminando la clase ahorita. It doesn't mean that we're ending the class right now. But it means that we're going to do it in a short future. And we are pretty sure that the class is going to end at 10 ish. 10 ish. Oh, guys, that's something. I don't know if you know the use of, of ish. Do you know what ish means? No? It's, it's so helpful. I'm going to send it to you. I discovered this when I was like graduated. This ish. Ish. This, when you're not sure about something, or even though you're sure and you want to say it's not completely like that, it's just like a little bit or something, something around that. So, for example, if I said we're going to finish the class at 10 ish, 10 ish, it's like at 10, but not at 10, it's like 10, I como a las 10. That's what I'm saying, right? And for example, if I said my computer is mm, blackish, blackish, it means that it's color black, but not so black. It's like a little bit, it's como por ahí, como, como un por el color un poquito negro, but not, not so much, okay? So ish, esa cosa les ayuda un montón, like ish, ish is like around that. Something not exactly, but there. Okay, wait a minute, you guys, wait a minute. Se están quemando los frijoles en esta casa y nadie siente ese olor. Oh my God. So, yeah. <laughs> Yo no puedo comer, así que, anyways. <laughs> so, you use ish and you, it's a complement for everything. Like, for example, ¿a qué hora nos vemos? Four ish, okay? Four ish, like around four. Not to be exact on some. Oh, that is what? Not exactly something, but kind of something. 
Okay? Is it understandable? Como más o menos. Yeah, but you can say so so with más o menos. But ish is like something like that. Yeah, like más o menos is something, something like that. Okay. Yes, excellent. So you can use that. Okay, now let's do some sentences about this. Let's go with the first one. Remember that always in a sentence we need the subject, the verb be, and the verb with the ing. That is the action that is happening or is going to happen. So it says here the instructions. Can you help me re uh, read the instructions, Suleyma? You mute it. Sure, sorry, I had some troubles. Okay, okay. Okay, write these sentences using the present progressive from, from of the verse in par, I don't know how to say that. Parenthesis. Par, par, parenthesis. No, pa, 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 parenthesis. Parenthesis. Yeah. Oh, like Spanish, almost. Yeah, almost like Spanish. Okay. I puedo decirlos como Spanish-ish, you see? Spanish-ish. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. No, this one is a difference like parenthesis, that's Espanol, right? But parenthesis, parenthesis, parenthesis. Okay, let's go with the number one plan, plan. Oh, and let me ask you something. So we know that we have to create the present progressive or the present continuous with the ing form. But do you know the rules on how to make that present progressive? Like oh, you only add ing, and that's that's it. I remember that only ing. Only ing. Only add ing. Okay. Thank you, Ruth. Subject verb to be plus verb plus ing. And yes. Yes, Brenda. But I'm asking is like so morphologically so morphologicamente hablando the word changes so for example say is saying right but we only add ing to the base of the verb or does it sometimes changes sometimes changes changes right so that's what i'm we're going to be talking about right now for example thank you ruth there and thank you brenda so for example here Let's write a sentence about this. Oh my God, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's here. Okay, so let's talk about plan. I'm planning to visit you tomorrow. Okay, this is just an example. You, can you see what happened here? planning why is it different you add another end i no, add another end okay so but why do we know why because it's a monosyllable like something like that no yeah it's a monosyllable that is true that is true thank you very much but for example But play is a monosyllable. Okay, okay, and play. say too, saying like this, right? It's a monosyllable. So thank you, thank you for the comment, Ruth. Yes, the first, first rule for this is that it has to be a monosyllable, but also the ending of this needs to be like, let me, let me, let me, let me, what is it, where is it? Needs to be consonant, vowel, consonant. Do you see it? Consonant vowel consonant so the three last letters of the word need to be consonant vowel consonant monosyllable like harvin said and just one sound of a syllable and then the last consonant we're going to double it and then we're going to add i n g okay another rule can be that those verbs ending in the letter e you're going to delete the letter E and you are going to add ING, okay? That is another rule. The second one is super easy. This is super, super, super easy. Call, this is 
simple. As you can see, this is again, like uh, Harbin and Ruth were saying, this is like a monosyllable again, we have just one syllable here, but what happens? Why don't I double the uh, L at the end again? Because I have vowel, consonant, consonant. Do you see it? So it's different, it doesn't follow the rule. So it will be just ing at the end of the base of the verb. So can you help me with a subject? Can you help me with the sentence? Not todos, oh my God, take it easy. Me teacher. Okay, thank you, Anna, thank you, tell me. Uh, she's calling her mother tonight. Very good. And we are talking about the present or the future in that, in that sentence? Is in the future, but uh, is, is an activity that you are sure is going to happen. Excellent, going to happen. excellent. Thank you very much, Anna. I'm happy when I see that my students are understanding. That's good. Thank you very much. So she's calling her mother tonight, okay, tonight. Now, guys, we have three, four, five, and six. So in this case, you are going to make the sentences three, four, five, and six with this verse check, write, send, and speak, and send them to the chat. Please be sure that you send it to English Corporativo only and send them all together, please. All the sentences together, because if you send them separately, I won't see them. That's gonna be a problem. Se escucha la tele siempre, guys. ¿Se entiende lo que dice la tele? No. No. Ok, por lo menos eso. Um, hello, teacher. Yes, hello. I, I have a problem with my internet again. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, could you send me uh, with a group? No, 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 we are not in groups right now. Ah, okay, perfect, <laughs> thank you. We are making these sentences, okay? All your classmates okay. are here. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Excuse mm -hmm. me. No, that's fine. Todo bien en estas Brenda, everything's good. Just remember French as all the languages, idiom, I mean, I mean, nationalities, it's with capital letter. So French will start with the capital.
remember always um, I is capital letter. I, I am, I. My homework is my, M-Y, M-Y, please, my. An email, remember vowel and email. English should be capital again. Y miren algo aquí, super interesting. When you're talking about everyone, every person, anyone, these names that we use, everyone, everybody, you use is, you don't use are, okay? So it will be everyone is speaking English. Everyone is. Checking my email, she's writing a poem, he's sending an email. You're speaking with his aunt. She is actually checking the homeworks. She, he is writing a new sales report. Writing. A new sales report. He's sending, no, he's sending the letters by emails, okay? He's sending the letters by emails. And writing should be W, T, no. It's only one T because the rule says that it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. And in this case, it's ending vowel, consonant, vowel, okay? He's sending the letters by emails. My teacher is speaking about present continuous. Yes, I am. I'm planning my wedding party. Wow. Are you getting married, Diana? My father is calling my brother for his birthday. My boyfriend is checking the package. The packages. I'm writing a letter for my sister. My boss is sending an email. They are speaking about their last vacations. So are you getting married? Yeah? I, like I cannot hear you, you are muted. I am. Oh, you are? Really, when? Congratulations. Thank you. On oh, 2019. Oh, did you got married? Ya se casó. Really? Oh my God, yes. he looks so young, right? Right? Yeah, well, that's good. I'm 28, almost 29. You are 28, almost 29, and you look so young. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Doesn't he, guys? <laughs> don't you think she looks young? Yeah, she yeah, looks so young. Yeah, like, I'm like, what? I thought you were getting married, and I was about to say, are you getting married this year? And now she's married already. Si no, seríamos dos tienes casándonos este año. Oh my God, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Diana is like, <laughs> Diana, check that. <laughs> like you have a cough, right? My boyfriend, I am checking my emails in this moment. I am writing. I'm writing a new movie. Are you writing a movie? I want to watch that movie. Teacher, ya. Yeah. No, ya sabemos por qué es que me duele la garganta, tanto grito que ha de pegar. Guay, Diana. Uh -huh. <laughs> y <Bueno>. no me <laughs> sacaste la basura. <laughs> ¿Qué te dije? Se limpieza. Y ahí va, va a pasar hasta el viernes el camión. Oh my God. <laughs> It's not necessary. We have a list. Uh, oh, of things to do. To do list. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. I'm checking my emails, I'm writing. But you don't have kids yet, right, Diana? No, but... But... <laughs> I just get noticed about that last week. So you but maybe? I... Yes. <gasps> okay, okay. Maybe. 
Okay. I, I have to do the test. And do you on want Friday. to? Yes, okay. we went since last year. Oh, since like you got married almost. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. I hope you are then. Thank Let's you. Let's hope the best. Thank you. I'm sending all the guys to my sister speaking with her best friend. I'm checking my email. My daughter is crying. <laughs> English again, guys. Okay, so I'm going to have to pause here because I have seen a lot of people doing this mistake and this is not correct. Every time you're going to talk about a country, nationality, and language, the first letter of this needs to be capital okay capital i'm going to show you an example right here so let's do this one mm, speak because this is the mistake here i'm speaking english right now okay try no new right now okay I'm speaking English right now. So you see the first letter of English is a capital letter because you need to have capitals at the beginning of languages, nationalities, countries, okay? So in this case, it will be English because many people were sending French or English with uh, lowercase, okay? It needs to be capital letter, okay? So now let's go to the next activity. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, so let's talk about this right here. It says write a seven line paragraph about the activities you're doing this day using present progressive. It doesn't have to be a seven line paragraph, but it has to be about this week. So for example, like this. On, ah, I'm sorry, guys, my allergy. Ah, se escuchó? No se escuchó? No? Okay. On Wednesday, I'm, I'm teaching English all day. That's an example, just an example. Then I have on Thursday, um, tutoring in no, a Spanish lesson. On Friday, um, estos son mis actividades. Estoy esperando que ustedes escriban las suyas. Okay, look, this is just my examples. So now I want you to do your examples, okay? So for example, in my case, on Wednesday, I'm teaching English all day. On Thursday, I'm tutoring a Spanish lesson. On Friday, I'm taking a visual test. On Saturday, I'm going to San Salvador. And on Sunday, I'm going to the church. Ahora quiero que hagan sus examples. Now it's your turn to make your examples, okay? So our future activities, but future activities we're sure we're about to do. I have to do the visual test, you guys, because yo no sabía que la licencia de conducir se vence y hay andado manejando con licencia vencida. Oh, there, 
Ay, tranquila, yo. No, yo manejo porque yo tengo licencia. Pero no manejado como dos años sin licencia. One. <laughs> bueno, no tanto one. It, 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 it was July 2020 that I have to renew it, but I didn't. So, si fuera July del 2021, si sería one year. And you have been driving with it two years, Jessica? Like expire? Around three years. Three years? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, from 20, 20, I want to see, 2007. Do you say 2007? Yeah. 2007? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cuando hable de números que son uh, así, no diga 20, sino que 2000, porque tú una vez 2001, okay. 2002. Ah, okay. Thank you. 2007 to 2011, 2012. 2011? <gasps> wow. So yeah. four or five years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm scared because I drive a lot and I have to drive to San Miguel, I have to drive to San Salvador, and I'm always like, nah, nothing's going to happen. But guys, I have only been asked for my driver's license once in my life, once in my whole life. Then never, nobody has asked for my, for my driver's license. Y fue el primer día que salí a manejar con licencia y me pararon y me la pidieron y yo como, yes. It's here, right? Like, mi momento ha llegado. But now I have it, it means it's fire. Okay, did you finish the activity? No, teacher, si estamos escuchando el chambre. Right. Let's work, work, work on it. I'm impressed. I thought Diana was like 20 years old or something like that, like 20, 21. And, and, and she was like, yeah, single and yeah, but she's married. Wow. This is a controversial question that I'm going to ask you, Diana. But did you decide to keep your names, your last names? Yes, both. I'm going to do the same, the, exactly the same thing. <laughs> yes. It's a Diana's thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I just wanted to ask you that because that is one of the main things, right? Like you see the name and it's like a single name for a, women, for a woman, right? And yeah. I... I I didn't change the do it yet. You didn't change. Oh, it's a single. <clears throat> it's a single. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. But I, I have to do it. Yeah, you have to do it. At least like yeah, one. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not gonna change it either. It's ten dollars, ten, ten and something. Nah. Hasta que se venza. Tengo una, una compañera que ella dijo, ¿qué pasó? Pero acabo de renovar el DUI, tengo cinco años. Dijo, ah, todavía falta. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's like, I, I had to do it this year to renew the DUI. Porque también se me venció ya tiempo. <laughs> And I didn't. Oh, wow. <laughs> es que fue en la pandemia. Oh, my God. It was like 2020 or something. All documents. Like, <laughs> documents. Yeah, like, yeah, I was like. And then I was doing something like um, a paperwork at a bank. And mm -hmm. they were checking my documents. And they said, like, yeah, we cannot proceed with this because you do it or your ID has expired and I was like mm. <sighs> and I had to so I and, and also but I was like no I'm not gonna do it I'm, it's okay I'm not gonna do it but then guys election day so and I had to vote oh, tenía, oh, wow. que, tenía que votar 
and my do it was spire, so yeah. <laughs> Nada más que no se cambia nada, ni foto ni nada, porque si no, si no podía votar. <laughs> okay, then you finish. I, I'm, I'm speaking because I'm like, me, me, me pone cómoda no hablar. But <laughs> I hope you're working. I have sent to you. No, 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 you don't have to send them to me, but tell me if you finished. It's okay if you send it or you don't. But we need to write this to say the things that we're doing these days. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, just one more minute because I think it's enough time, more than enough. Huh. Ruth se desconectó y no volvió a conectarse. Y she's not here. Tienen que ser oraciones verdaderas. lo que van a hacer estos días. Okay, that's enough. Enough time. More than enough. So, um, we're going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to talk about the activities you're going to be doing these days with your classmates. Just let me make these breakout rooms. Just to remember, Rolando is working, Flor is driving. Katia, are you home already, right, Katia? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, okay, so Katia's home. Jennifer, Jennifer is good. Anna and Rolando are working and Flor is driving. So let's see if they don't end up in a breakout room together. So Flor is driving. Anna, 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 where is Anna? Anna is here, very good. And Rolando has to change. Okay, let's go. Send you the invites.
Uh, on Monday, I'm taking a new English lesson. On Tuesday, I'm working at home. On Wednesday, I'm going to the supermarket. On Thursday, I'm driving to my workplace. On Friday, I'm, I'm doing my English homework. <laughs> On Saturday, I'm going to take a trip somewhere. On Sunday, I'm visiting my parents. Nice, they are real. Yeah, it's okay. real. And what about you, Jennifer? Are you ready? Are you ready, Jennifer? Yes. <clears throat> okay, on Wednesday, I'm sending reports to my boss and I'm working with the investment reconciliations. On Thursday, I'm going to, <laughs> to the supermarket at night. On um, Friday, I'm going to take a lunch with my younger sister. On Saturday, I'm going to have a doctor appointment. On Friday, I'm going to visit my mom. Good. Kathy, if you can repeat it. Yes. Yours. Okay. On Wednesday, I am going to the bank. On Thursday, I am. Um, on Monday, on Monday, I am reviewing the report of a teacher. Uh, all, all week, the teacher preparing report, and uh, on Monday, I am reviewing the, that uh, report. Uh, on Thursday, uh, I am meeting with my principal partner. On Wednesday, I am meeting with my personal team. In Tuesday, I am working with the practical class. Um, Friday, uh, normally I am preparing my reporting. And Saturday, I am review, reviewing the, the work uh, at the end uh, week. Okay, that's nice. And what about you? But oh. it's dangerous. Uh, but we can have a, a careful and for 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 the for the for the traffic. I prefer motorcycles, but I like cars. I like ride cars. That's what you rather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and really nice. between in between standard and automatic, I prefer standard. standard. Me yeah. Too. <laughs> Me too. I love it. <laughs> like fast and furious there. <laughs> yeah. No, I prefer. I prefer. I prefer. I rather uh, uh, drive a standard because um, mechanic. Those are called mechanics, actually. Mm. So okay. I rather drive a mechanic car because I get bored in the automatic. Me and if too. I'm driving for a long, long time and, and my feet, uh, my foot, I mean, and it's just in one position, it's like it hurt, it's Ooh. hurting. It's better to be playing yeah. with the gas and the brake. The, mm -hmm. the, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> for me. it's much better. Yeah, I know. It's better. Okay. better. And you, Miguel? Uh,
you didn't want to come back. You were speaking. It was interesting what you were speaking. Yeah, it seems like it. You didn't want to come. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I was listening to some of you and yeah, you were talking about them again because you have already finished what you were speaking and you were talking about them again. I want to say like when I'm in, not in the breakout rooms, you are speaking about the activities, but I guess you have other things to talk about also when I'm not in the breakout rooms. I know that. I will do the same because I like to speak a lot. Okay, so let's go here. Let's just let me go. Okay. This is the topic we have for today. Actually, guys, este es el tema que me han dado a mí para dar hoy, pero no es el tema que va de acorde. Yo lo pongo porque es el tema que decía en la planificación, pero voy a hablar con ellos un poco sobre esto. So, no leamos el tema, pero leamos la fecha. So, pero vamos a seguir hablando. We're going to still be talking about the ING, and we're also going to be talking about reports, human resources reports. So, the, the date for today, can you help me with the date, please, Harvin? This day, June 1st, 2021. Excellent. Thank you very much. So it's June 1st, you guys, right? It's first. Now we have first. And tomorrow is going to be second. We have a question. Well, two questions right here. So can you help me read the first question, Katia? You should be promoted. Who? Why? Who, Who? should be promoted? Promoted. Promoted, promoted. Excellent, thank you very much. Who should be promoted and why? Yes, thank you very much. Um, Jennifer, can you help me with the second question? Yes, of course. Have you been promoted in your workplace? Thank you very much. So we have two questions right here. Well, three at least. Who should be promoted in your workplace? Let's think about your workplace. And don't be like, no, nobody, because nobody can work good, right? It's stuff like that. Just think about it posit positively, because you're gonna say, say like, yes, this coworker of mine has been working in the company for a long time. And I think this person should be promoted. Why? Because this and this and this. Um, this person works every day and works extra hours and knows how to manage the company. It has a lot of experience because he, she or he has been working with the company for almost 15 years or something like that. So you, you need to tell me who in your company should be promoted and why. And the second question we have here is, have you been promoted in your workplace? Have you ever been promoted in your workplace? Can you give me a reaction if you have been promoted in your workplace anytime? No, you have never been promoted in your workplaces? Nope. Just Brenda I've been promoted. and Juan I've been Jose. Promoted. So Juan Jose, Brenda, Ana, Ana Beatriz, right? Have you ever gotten a raise? That yes, that yes, Diana, right? You know what is a raise, right? An aumento? What is a raise? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you can, well, if you haven't been promoted, you can talk about a raise and why, why you got the raise, right? Yeah, that's something important there to, to know. Y me pasan el tip para que le tenga aumentos. Okay, so do you have the questions you're going to ask? Do you have the questions? No? My God. Okay. No. Take a screenshot or or write them down because we're gonna be talking about this in this moment. Ready? Yes. Yes. Excellent. So now let's talk about this. Just yeah, this one. So Anna Elizabeth is working. No, I don't like this group. This group is gonna be so quiet. 
that I don't like it. This is better. This is better. Was proposed to move yes. uh, 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 administrative manager. The, the, the accountant was promoted to a financial institutional unit. Uh, and I think so. That's that, that thing. Ah, the technical was promoted. Uh, to accountant, so it was uh, was very oh some 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 promote some people promote. Uh, I do okay. I do I do so. in your workplace. Uh, in my in my workplace, and uh, my last workplace, no, I I I never <laughs> I never has promote. Uh, but I, I hope, I hope, or I wish. And I have you better. ever hope or wish? Got an erased race. Uh huh. Aumento? No, 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 no. I don't have the. He already finished her 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 degree. And maybe she has the possibil the possibil possibilities to to take or or, or occupy uh, that position in, in the office. And do, you, do you think that she is uh, or she has managerial uh, material? No, the position is about uh, a new employee is with 
with the specific activities about law. He, she finished her, her career. So he, he is, she is, she is, she is prepared for this position, for this position. But no, but it, this position is. Okay, for example, the third question, who was promoted in my company? Mm -hmm. Start some years ago with giving the the for the people that are working in another plant mm -hmm. because before they prefer to put to hiring a person what with the with the higher level study or I don't know who say in English con niveles de estudio alto so but they pay a lot and the people. Don't higher support. education. Sorry? High education. High education, okay. And they pay a lot and the people don't receive the, the person don't receive the work in that place because working in a textile fabric is a lot of, a lot of stressful. We have to, to work have with... To work. Si fueran las 10, así vinieran, mira. I know that. If it was 10 p.m., they would be like, yes, time to go. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. 
But if it was 10 p.m., you guys, you will be here like this, right? But it's not 10 p.m., teacher. So, yeah, let's talk about this a little bit more. Okay, so guys, I feel so good today that my audio matches my video. Like, I will do this at the same time I do it. It's better. Yesterday was a, ah, was a pain in the neck. I hate it yesterday. Now it's better, right? You can see me and hear me at the same time. Yeah, excellent, better. Okay, yes. let's go Let's go with the second attendance, you guys. You remember to have your full names and your cameras on. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Arlinda Sanz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Aguilar Céspedes. Flor Hidalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. You're still driving, Flor? Yes, maybe oh. in 20 minutes-ish. It's a lot, uh, yeah, 20-ish. 20, 20 mm -hmm. I <laughs> hope so. Okay, thank you. Um, Harbin Saguevara Miranda. I am here. Okay. Yes. Harbin is here now. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. I'm here. Juan Jose Avalos Campos. I'm here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno González. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancía. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jose Efraín Cáceres Escalante and Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay, um, guys, I have a situation here. So, Rolando tenía que estar conmigo hoy a las 10 en la sesión que ustedes me hacen preguntas y toda esa cosa, ¿verdad? Pero Rolando está trabajando. Entonces, eh, le iba a decir a Ruth, que es a quien le toca mañana, que se quedara hoy y Rolando se quedaba después. Pero Ruth tampoco está. So, no. tengo aquí, tengo aquí a... Suleima y Jessica. No sé quién de las dos se quiere quedar hoy y cambiamos turno con Rolando. I can be teacher. You can be the one? Yep. Ah, ok. Entonces cambio con Suleima y el día que le tocaba a Suleima ahora le va a tocar a Rolando para que no se quede, ¿verdad? Sin, sin eh, la clase privada y el Jessica quedamos siempre el mismo día con usted, ¿ok? Yes, excelente. Ok, thank you very much, Suleima. So nos quedamos a las 10, ¿ok? Very good. 10-ish. <laughs> now let's go, guys, with the, the second part here. Diana is sleepy. Oh, my God, Diana, why are you so sleepy today? Okay, so we have this. Look here. Uh, can you help me read, please, and Jennifer, the instruction of this activity? Read the employee's performance report. Discuss with a partner who is the best candidate to be promoted. Promoted. Yes. Promoted. Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. So we have two candidates for a job, okay? So employees performance report, employees performance report. So the first employee's name is Raul Perez and the second employee's name is Karen Solano, okay? So the employee, the employee. So I'm just gonna help you with pronunciation and then you're gonna read this again because you have to read it. I'm just gonna help you with the pronunciation. And then you with your partners will agree on who is the best candidate for the promotion to be promoted, okay? So I'm gonna read it. Both, both say the same. So I'm just gonna read one and then you will see. So the employee shows commitment to work. Commitment, commit. Mend is always is always punctual. Punctual does not violate rules. 
follows indications. Likes to work in group. Focuses on his responsibility, on his or hers, right? Responsibilities. Completes the work assigned. Is a leader. Communicates ideas. Is proactive. Is collaborative. Has a positive attitude. Observations. He usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he is not a proactive person. Observations. She usually comes late, but she does violate, she usually comes late, but she does violate the rules sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has leadership skills. <laughs> Guys, que difícil va a quién van a promover? Oh my God, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard, I think. Okay, so help me read. I'm just gonna listen to your pronunciation. So Suleyma, read the first part. Okay, uh, shows commitment to work. Thank you, Juan Jose. Oh, uh, you're muted. Muted, I cannot hear you. It hurts. He is always punctual. Thank you very much. Jennifer. Doesn't violate rules. Thank you. Harbin. All of indication. Thank you. Brenda. Likes to work in group. Thank you. Miguel. Focuses on his responsibility. Thank you very much. Katia. Completes the word assignment. Assigned. Assigned. Thank you. Diana. Is a leader. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Communicates ideas. Thank you very much. Well, then Flor and Anna are not. One is driving in the other one. Okay. So let's go back to Jessica. Is proactive. Okay. Suleyma. Collaborative. Collaborative is Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> collaborative. It's collaborative. Yes, <laughs> excellent. Um, Diana. Has a positive, a positive attitude. Has a positive attitude. Thank you very much. So guys, look at this. Can you just could you can take a screenshot if you want about this? You have it in the in the manual, but you can take a screenshot if you like. Okay. So Raul Perez and Karen Solano. This is the card report of the performance and we have the observations right here in the bottom. So you're gonna read this and you are gonna make, and you're gonna be like, okay, so Raul Perez is not punctual. So it's not punctual, you can see. Raul Perez is not a leader, okay? And it's not proactive. So Karen Solano does violate the rules. So she violates the rules and doesn't have a positive attitude, okay? So, and you're gonna read the observations and at the end, you're gonna say this, okay? You're gonna discuss why should Mr. Perez or Ms. Solano should be promoted? Support your answers. Por qué? Why do you think this person should be promoted? I think that Mr. Perez or I think that Miss Solano should be promoted because this person has a leadership. Uh, we can work on the attitude and, and this and this and that. Okay. So you're going to give your ideas at the end. So the first thing you need to do is read the report card, 
read the observations, chat a little bit with your classmates, and at the end, like it was a, como un juicio, van a deliberar, deliberar, de, so now I don't speak Spanish, deliberar, so you're going to deliberate about who's going to be the person who needs to be promoted. But you need to support your ideas on why, why this person should be promoted or not. Okay? Yes? Is the activity clear? Is it understandable? It is. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Ya la veo cómoda, Katia. That's good. Okay, let's see, esta persona está trabajando, esta persona está manejando, y esta persona está trabajando. So creo que así estamos bien. I think it's good. Okay, let's go.
mother mm -hmm. look like is a, a follower like mm -hmm. he do what he has he does what he has to do mm -hmm. but uh, he doesn't shine it's like just a normal co mm -hmm. co a normal worker that's it and the other has mm -hmm. like maybe she's she violates rules but mm -hmm. sometimes rules are like for example when you don't ask your boss to do something but you want to improve something so you don't take in account rule and you do it so you do it well you broke a rule mm -hmm. but you do it you did it for for a good thing and yeah. then to have a positive attitude that is uh, related because um sometimes people who work very hard they never had a good attitude i can see that with my boss Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, and actually, I, I think the positive attitude, we have to change. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you uh, again. The, the employee show commitment to work is always punctual, does not violate rules, follow indication likes to likes to work in a group in group focuses on his responsibilities complete the, the work assigned assigned is a leader communicates ideas is proactive is collaborative proactive proactive Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth, what happened? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Ruth. Hi again. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so uh, your power went down. That's what happened? Yeah, and then, uh, well, now it's rain. rain. It's raining right now? Yeah. Where do you live? Uh, Mexicanos. Oh, okay. So right now your classmates are working in, a, in, a, in, some, work, in some job profiles and deciding who is the person who can be promoted in the company. So I'm going to send you to a breakup room so you can work with them, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Sí, Dayana, uh, gracias por llevarme cliente. Ahora yo te digo eso, lo del NIT. Todo el día perdido en eso, porque la firma del NIT ahora debe ser igual que la de tu Dubi. Así que ahí te dejo eso para que te lo tomen en cuenta.
he, he doesn't have a positive attitude. And I think that is something really important to have because in this way, he can have a better performance and use a, a week that I saw in Raul and is that he doesn't have a leadership skill, but he can learn in the process, I think. What do you think, Miguel Angel? Yes, I think Raul Perez uh, should be promoted because he's a person that uh, likes to work in a group, uh, communicates ideas, and is collaborative, he, and it has, uh, he has a, a positive aptitude. Uh, in this case, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, for the reason because Gare, I think that she's not she not she's not going to be a good leader. The person who broke on the rules, no one is going to follow her. And Raul can change some characteristics, for example to be punctual is something that someone or a person can change. And to be a proactive and a leader, they can choose for a training, as I said before, and they can change that. I yeah. And he has the positive attitude, so that is something really good for him. Yes. Yes.
Hi. I don't like it. I don't like it when it's quiet. It's like, I don't like to be quiet. <laughs> Is I have I have always I need to be I need to be speaking all the time because if not I feel like eh que silencio más incómodo so I don't like it. There they come. Excellent, excellent, very good. So, um, guys. We had two candidates. The first candidate, oh, welcome, Floor. It's good that you're home already. Welcome to the class. <laughs> okay, so we have Raul Perez and we have Karen Solano. I'm gonna ask by teams, uh, who do you think should be promoted and the reason why you think this person should be promoted? Again, the names are Raul and Karen. So uh, the first group, Ana Beatriz, Ana Elisa, Diana, Ruth, and Suleima. Who do you think should be promoted? Suleima. <laughs> Suleima should be promoted or Suleima is going to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Suleima is going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we were talking in our group. In our group, we were talking about uh, that Raúl should be promoted because um, if we compare both characteristics that they uh, they have, uh, for example, um, Raúl is not a proactive person and he is not a leader, but <clears throat> that is something that. Uh, a person can change taking note of taking trainings or taking class uh, he could improve that and as well he's really ah and punctual. he's not punctual but it's something that a person can change what about karen why we not choose their hair because karen is a leader but she doesn't have a positive Actitude, so maybe she's a bad leader, and as well, he's a bad leader too because she violated the rules. So, um, I think that I'm not going to follow a person that not follow the rules because it is not a good example for employees. So, I think that Raul should be promoted for that reason. Okay, thank you, thank you. I like your point of view. Thank you very much, Suleyma. And thank you, the group, right? right. That was your opinion on how to do that. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. Let's go with the second group. We're gonna have Brenda, Harbin, Katia, Rolando, and Jessica. So, well, Brenda, Harbin, Katia, and Jessica, okay? So who should be promoted and why? Okay, I will speak. Okay. In our case, we thought that <laughs> Karen should be promoted because sometimes, yes, she doesn't have a good attitude um, and uh, she's also um, breaking the rules, I think. Yeah, she's breaking rules. But see, uh, sometimes people have a bad attitude because they are working a lot. So people who work a lot, they normally they don't have a good attitude. Just remember your boss. <laughs> and then uh, she has like, a, she's a leader by nature, I think. And be a leader by nature is better than be a leader because you learn it from a book or from any place. Because you do it because it comes from inside. So you don't have to be teach it because you can teach other. And then um, attitude is something that can change. Also, if you get a good salary, maybe you will change the attitude you have. And that's why we think uh, are two things. If you compare like uh, the thing that she's a, a leader by nature and that she doesn't have a um, positive attitude and also she, she breaks rules. So I think it's heavy, if I can say that, that she's a leader by nature. Okay, so it's one really important thing that she was born a leader. 
That's yeah, because saying. the other one, yeah, maybe the other one is a follower. It's just somebody that rich on time, do what he has to do, but he lives, he doesn't think about the goals of the company. They just want to be on time and don't come out from okay. the pool. So I will say something that sometimes, yeah, like your, like your idea, Brenda, as well as Suleyma's idea, but I will say that sometimes leaders, being good or bad, they have the power of convincement and they can make you do anything they want you to do. Think about many examples that you can think of. So because a leader will change your perspective on things. So even if you're not a leader, you can talk to many, many people and they are not gonna listen and they are not gonna follow, right? But they follow the leaders. So just, I don't know, it's something with the leaders being good or bad that they make people follow them. Like there's the saying with the moms, si tus amigos te dicen que te tiras de un puente, te vas a tirar. Pero es que fulanito lo dijo y fulanito siempre propone buenas ideas, right? So it's 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 different there. Yeah, I like I like that idea. Okay, so let's go with the last group in this case. It's Flor, Jennifer, Juan Jose, and Miguel. Okay, we choose to Raúl because we think that he is the best candidate to get a promotion because he's he has a good attitude, and I think that a good attitude can change many things. Because if we work with someone who is all the time uh, mean or upset, the people can feel good in the environment. And it's really good that every person could be good in the team. And also because he doesn't violate any rules. So he is someone who can follow rules. And that is the main reason that we shouldn't uh, have as a manager to cut him. Okay, so you so, chose Raul. Yeah. Okay, and what do you it, think about cutting? I think that first, she doesn't have a good attitude. Attitude. Uh, attitude. And if really uncomfortable work with someone who could be upset or mean with someone. And also if you feel better in your job, you can you can you can have a better team. And the main, as I say, he violates some rules. Yes. Okay. And she has some warnings with the being late to work, right? No, Raul has the warnings for being late. And uh, she violated rules. She violated Violating rules. the rules? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This was interesting, you guys, because it's not so easy to choose a person. And here's when you think about working in human resources. So I have this friend, she like many people in El Salvador was struggling because she didn't have a job, right? She was like, no, I wanna work and this and that and why I applied to this company and to the other company and to the other company and I never get in. Then she got the opportunity to work for a company, but the company has, quarters here in El Salvador and also in Guatemala, Guatemala. So, and she now is getting the resumes because she's working for human resources. So she's reading the resumes, she's interviewing people, she's, and now she's like, it's so difficult to hire a person because then you can have like many good candidates and they have mistakes, but it's so hard, like right now with Raul and Karen. For me, guys, it's difficult. Like, yeah, I know, I know Karen is, like, yeah, Ruth, tell me. Okay. 
Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, when we talk about uh, Raúl, uh, what's typical of, of me uh, to, to know uh, who can be a better, but uh, we talk uh, that Karen is a leader, but maybe uh, the same thing you, you, you said, uh, is a negative leader because if she is she uh, violate she violate rules and if she uh, don't has uh, doesn't have doesn't have a positive uh, attitude I don't know I, I think that is a bad example it's a bad example and and Raul uh, he can be better because with a positive attitude, he can learn to be a leader, a positive leader. And Karen, also he, she can change, but to promote now, I think that no. Yeah, yeah, I think I think the same, well, like Ruth is saying, it's difficult to make a decision here it's like right now we're the human resources department and we're having a meeting to decide who's the best person because isn't that right but I remember something that my dad used to say when I was little quien mienten lo poco mienten lo mucho so if a person violates the rules in a little way then they can violate the rules in a big way right like you don't know take money from the company for example or something like that and but being a leader is something that is heavyweighted something that you cannot um learn how to do just just because right it, it's something that is by nature right by nature so yeah it's difficult but i support both of your ideas there's not a how can we say this like a Una verdad absoluta, like the truth is not complete by itself. Gracias a Dios no tenemos que darle el puesto a nadie de estas personas. <laughs> this is just like a supposing thing, like something theoretically is not, we have to put it into practice, but yeah, it's difficult. I know it's difficult. Okay, now let's go with the next activity, you guys. So this is the next activity. Uh, can you help me read the instructions, please, Jessica? Okay, teacher. <coughs> Pair words. Read the pre previous employees' performance reports and ask and answer questions about them. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jessica. Okay, so we have this information right here. Okay, so in all of these uh, points should be questions. Now we're going to be talking about that. So, for example, we have it here seven questions. Okay. So the first one says, does Mr. Perez communicate, what is it? Commitment to work. Does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? So this is the first question, as you can see, okay? So the other one is, is he a leader? This one, and you say, yes, he is. So um, I'm gonna explain this in Spanish real quick. Van a tomar partes de las que están aquí arriba, ok, partes de las que están, puntos de estos que están, y los van a convertir en preguntas, ok, so you're gonna make them questions, como este por ejemplo, does Mr. Spérez show commitment to work, is he a leader, y hacen otra pregunta aquí, que puede ser de do o does, o puede ser de is, ok, so, eh, y después me le van a dar respuesta a esas preguntas aquí abajo, van a ser, bueno, ya están aquí, solo one, two, three, four, five, Cinco preguntas sobre Mr. Pérez, cinco preguntas sobre Mr. Solano, Mrs. Solano. ¿Por qué aquí dice Mrs. Solano? ¿Está casado? Pero aquí dice mi Solano, ven, no tiene sentido, doesn't make sense. So no, she's mi Solano, no es Mrs. Es mi Solano. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. Okay, so, van a ser cinco preguntas por cada uno, five questions per each, y abajo o ahí mismo donde las haga, me le van a dar respuesta. For example, hagamos una pregunta sobre Mr. Pérez. Let's make a question. So, is, so, um, this is very important. Las preguntas que van a hacer con 
is, obviamente tienen el verbo to be en ellas. Y las que van a ser do or does no tienen nada o tienen el does. Ok. So, for example, this one que tenemos is proactive. ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta para is proactive? Is, he pro is Mr. Perez proactive? Is Mr. Perez proactive? Y veamos si es proactive him. No. ¿La respuesta no. sería? He isn't. No. no, he isn't. No, he isn't. Vamos a hacer una sobre Miss Lozano. Solano, Solano, <laughs> Lozano. Solano. So <laughs> let's do a one that is. Okay, this one has a positive attitude. Does she has a positive attitude? Does she has? A positive attitude. Does she has? No. Does she have? Does she have? Does she have? Yes, because we have the does already. So, does she have a positive attitude? No, the answer should be no, no, she, no does. she doesn't. So, that's what you're going to do. You're going to make questions with answers. Okay? Is it understandable? Yes. Based on yes, that. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Let me. So, Flor ya está en casa. So, Flor can participate in the activity. So let's see who is not at home. Rolando cannot participate. What is Rolando? Rolando, 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 Rolando. But Rolando is not in the class anymore. Ya no está en la no, clase. No, no. So Ana is working. Ana is still working. Yeah, that's it. Just Ana. So Ana is going to be in this group of many people. Okay, let's go.
uh, uh, remove the S of complete. What did you say? Uh, you should, uh, should, should we, should remove the S of complete. No. I can't understand. It's like entrecortado. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> you can hear me better. Oh, Yo no. sí la puedo escuchar bien. I can hear you well. I think it's Jennifer's internet, maybe. Yeah. It's because it's raining. And I have like a pequeña falla en la electricidad. Okay. Okay, another question can be uh, Does he does, follow Does he violate the rules? Did you did you did this one? Yeah. Follow Does he follow no does, does, he, does he follow indication? And the other one. And he does, he, does he violate rules? No. Or yeah. Yeah. Yes. Complex. Sulema, do you have one? Mm, no, just that. Katia? Do we have the working teamwork? Do we have that? Like, can you repeat, please? Does she like to work in group? Yes. Does, Does she like. like to work in group? Yes. She likes. Yes, she likes. Does. Yes, she does, sería la respuesta. Does she? Yes, she does. Yes, she mm -hmm. does. Do you, have, do you have another one? Does she show committed to work? Commitment to work, sorry. Yes, that's the She does. Show. Yes, she does. To work. Like to work. She does. Is she a colored collaborative person? Does Karen? No, is Karen? Is Karen. Mm -hmm. A collaborative person, you say, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, she does. Uh, yes. Yes, she is. Is Karen a collaborative yes. person? Yes, she is. Recuerda, si preguntamos con el verbo to be, contestamos con el verbo to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 10 p.m. Hi. Oh my God. No. Right. I said well, that we finish almost at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And did you finish? We finished. Yeah, we yeah. have did the 10 sentences. The yes, and the 10 answers. Show me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, would you like to read? The... You can share the screen. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Oh my God, my notes. Okay, don't worry. Juan, Jose, is there a problem with your headset? 
Okay, yes. teacher, can yes, you see it, them? It is raining. Oh, okay. Can you see it? Can you see them here? Uh, let me see if I can si puedo ampliar la pantalla, because I can. Ah, it's so tiny. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes. now. Okay, does Raul like the working group? Yes, it's nice. This one is Raul Corroborative. Does. You have a Mac? Yes. Ah. But it's for work. It's Excuse mine. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at. It's like that's not that's not um that's not some system of Windows, right? Yeah, that's a Mac. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. And thank you for sharing that you have a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't mine. <laughs> well, well, but you have a Mac, even if yours are not. Okay. okay. <laughs> very good. So I'm going to go to the other groups because you are the first group that finished. Okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Okay. The last one. That communicates idea, ideas. It's uh, on the box. It's the first. Yeah. It's the first. Okay. Maybe that's chief focus on his oh. responsibility. Yeah. It's the that's... second one. No home office. Okay. Mm, yeah. Did you finish? Yes, yes. Sir. Can yes. you show me? Yes. yes, of course. So, Leima. Does Mr. Perez, uh, it, no, no. Is Mr. Perez a punctual person? Yes. He, he, no, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he no, isn't. He isn't. He isn't. No, he isn't. Uh, does Karen. Is a good person, is a good leader? No, she doesn't. No, she isn't. I ask for with us. I don't know. If you ask with us, you say, for does, example, can you repeat the question? Does Karen is a uh, does Karen a good leader? That is is Karen a good leader? No. That is that that is. Is, is, is no Karen das. a good leader. Si ya tienen el verbo to be, no utilicen el auxiliar das para preguntar. El auxiliar das es para todos los otros verbos. El verbo to be pregunta por sí solo. Ok. 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 Does Karen communicate ideas? Yes, she does. Yes, right. yes she does. Is Karen a collaborative person? Yes, yes she is. Okay. Brenda, do you have some questions? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, let me take no. Uh, does Karen show commitment to work? Yes, she does. Is Karen a collaborative person? Yes, she is. Does Karen let rules? Yes, she does. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you very much. Everyone is faster. Yeah, right now, yes. Pero si lo llamo en medio de la clase, it's like, uh, no, está bueno el chambre. But right now it's like, ya se pasó de la hora la teacher. Oh my God, let's go. Yeah, but you hadn't finished. Estaba revisando los últimos trabajos, that's why. Okay, let's go. Because uh, ahora siguen sí rápido. I don't know why, but you're really fast. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Arlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta, Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here. Estefanía Alejandra, Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes, Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am. 
Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I am here. Juan José Avalos Campos. Yes, I am here. Okay. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz, Miguel Ángel Centeno González. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. Ruth Saray Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Zuleima Lisette Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancía. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Sue Efraín Cáceres Escalante. Silvia María Rivera Rivas. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to stay right now with Suleyma, right? See you, okay. teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everyone. Bye. <laughs> Así se van todos siempre. That's, that's <laughs> every day. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, so, Suleyma, what, how are you doing today? Um, I'm really tired because I wake up, I wake up so early. I started my job at 8 p.m. and I finished at 6.30 p.m. So uh, 10 hours. Almost uh, at 7 because I was finishing some goals that I have to, to give to my agents. And something, I would like to tell you something, teacher. We were talking about the leaders today, and in my job, I'm going to have a, a training of that with uh, one person for the U.S. And I'm going to be just one coach. It's going to be one coach for the center field of my job, and then I'm going to be with directors, managers, and I'm really nervous. <laughs> nervous for that <laughs> because they speak English very well and I'm not like oh no and I have to <laughs> training is for seven weeks just Wednesday seven seven weeks. weeks yes almost two months and I'm like oh, no and I have to read one book so and I you're the only one that speaks Spanish no, I guess that they know that because I know that some people are bilingual from that, but I don't know, but I'm, I know that they can speak English very well. So, but you work in a call center, right? Yes. Uh, but the call center is in Spanish or in English? In the Spanish. That sometimes we have to go to some departments that speak English. So, for example, who or what is your account? Sales. But the account, what is it? The name of the account? Uh, Centerfield from AT&T. Centerfield from AT&T, but you only get the Hispanic speakers. From Latin American person that lives over there. So you only get like, for example, they call the company and it says, uh, would you like an agent that speaks Spanish or English? And they choose Spanish and then you would receive the person. No, so no, les da no. la opción de elegir español o inglés y a ustedes los eligen de español para que atiendan a estas personas? Yes, something like that. Something like that? In Spanish. But sometimes the agent has to go to another department and they speak English. And sometimes <laughs> the agent doesn't understand for that reason, we are we have to help them. Oh, okay. Yes. And you and you have to work on site. Yes, on site. You never work from home. Never, never, never. Uh. <laughs> Even when I was an agent, I was working on site, and now I am working on the site. It's just on site. Yes. Uh, even in the pandemic, like in the lockdown. We went, we, uh, we just, well, we, we didn't work one month uh, for that. Then we have to present in the site. Oh, but just one month at work. home. Oh no, you didn't work that month. 
no, I didn't work that month. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, interesting. Well, it, before we run out of time because we don't have enough time, do you have a question about the classes or something? Mm. Uh, just to a review, mm -hmm. uh, you said that, for example, the the sentence that I read, does is cutting a good person, I can say is cutting a good leader, or oh, is necessary does is cutting. I think that is wrong, <laughs> right? Okay, so I hope you ask me that because when I was in the breakout room, I was like, maybe she's gonna ask me about this. And yes, you are asking me about this, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna show you how that is done. So for example, if I have a sentence with the verb to be, I'm gonna ask with the verb to be. So I'm gonna open the question with the verb to be. In this case, I'm gonna change. Instead of saying you are the boss, I'm gonna write at the beginning of the question are, okay? Are so you. are you the boss, okay? So, and as this is a question with the verb to be, I'm gonna answer, answer I mean, I'm gonna answer with the verb to be. For example, are you the boss? And I answer, yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, that is correct. So as simple like, as this. So for example, you were asking there, is Karen a good leader? Just, just an example, right? Is Karen a good leader? And we have the answer. Can you give me the answer? The answer? Could be yes or no. W she whatever. Or she is well, whatever. Okay. Yes or no? Yes, yes, cheese. Yes, she is, okay? Now, this is with the verb to be. But when we have other verbs that are not the verb to be, for example, well, let's look at one that we have there. Mm. Communicates ideas, that's the one that says here. Communicates ideas, so. That goes. So let's say communicates. Oh my God. Communicates ideas like that. Okay. So the verb here is communicates, right? Communicates. But mm -hmm. we cannot ans ask with the verb to be because it doesn't make sense. So in this case, I'm going to use the auxiliary verb that it, in this case will be does because we're talking about a third person, right? If we were talking about me or you, well, then we use do you, okay? Como do you work here? Do you? But in this case, like it's the third person and the auxiliary for the third person is does, okay? Yes. So does Karen communicate? And in this case, we erase the letter S. So we don't write the letter S because in the auxiliary, we have the third person. Ya tengo la tercera okay. persona en el auxiliar, entonces no la necesito uh -huh. en el verbo. Solo lo escribo así. Yes. So, does Karen communicate ideas? Okay. And in this case, I'm asking with does. Estoy entonces está preguntando con does. La respuesta sería entonces con does. Sería? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Y si sería negativa, sería? No, she does. Yes, super easy. You see? You know it. Ya lo yes, sabe. Nada like... más tenía como que recortarlo, ¿verdad? Yes. I was like, ah, yes. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. That's good, Suleima. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, Suleima. So I will see you tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Okay. Have a good okay. night. Thank you. Have a good Bye -bye. night. Bye.